Welcome back to another NBA 2K23 build video, and today we're going to be creating Giannis on Nakumpo. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right on into the build. So, name Giannis on Nakumpo, position, then we go power forward, hand right, here's number 34. For the height, now I've seen about three different versions of this build that people create. The first one is six foot nine. Obviously it's a lot faster and quicker. And the only problem I have with it is for the finishing, when you have him at six foot nine, uh, limitless takeoff and post riser are tier three badges. Six foot 11, I just feel like he's too slow. So I went ahead and went with six foot ten. I believe when you have him at six foot ten, limitless takeoff becomes a tier two badge, and then posterizer is a tier three badge. So that'll save you some bad badge points on that. Uh, for the weight, we're gonna go ahead and go down to two thirty nine because we're gonna bring the wingspan up to seven foot seven and a two thirty nine able to keep that 90 strength body shape it's obviously got to be defined and now for the attributes so for the shot close I'm gonna bring that up to 73 driving lip I'm gonna bring that up as well to a 73 driving dunk 93 so we get gold posterizer standing dunk we're gonna bring that up to a 90 so we get the big man contact dunks post control and this is what's really weird about this build I wanted to raise this up to a 94 so I could get gold quick first step but for some reason with gold quick first step I cannot get slashing takeover on this build I have no idea why so we'll have to settle for silver so we'll go with a minimum of 87. Three point. Gonna raise that up to at least a 70. You could mess around with this build and raise the shooting higher, but a set 70 is a sweet spot for me. If you're wide open, you're gonna be able to hit your open threes. Uh, come back to the rest of the shooting. For the physicals, gonna max out the speed, max out the acceleration, strength, gonna max that out to a 90. Vertical, gonna bring that up to an 82 overall. That allows you to get the elite contact dunks, stamina. I'd recommend for this build, you go anywhere between an 85 to a 90 stamina. You can make it higher than that because stamina sucks on this game, but I feel like the sweet spot for a big, a big man build is between 85 and 90. So I went ahead and went with 85. Uh, for the pass accuracy, I went ahead and went with a 70. For the ball handle, went with a 70 as well. You're gonna, with the playmaking aspect of this build, you're gonna unlock some really good animations for a big men that allows you to be able to dribble pretty well. So I'm not too worried about these. They look a little low, but trust me, they're not. You can get some good animations with this. And now on to the defense, gonna raise up interior D to an 80. Perimeter D is going to be a 70. Still. Gonna raise that up to a 70. Like 72 block. Gonna raise this up to a 75. That is high enough for me. We still get go chase down artists. So offensive rebound a 75 and defensive rebound. We're gonna make an 85. And we still have some points left over, so I'm gonna go ahead and raise up mid-range to can make that a 60. Then you can go ahead and put your rest on free throw. Unless you can unless you want to lower that a little bit more and add an extra point to and still but you don't get any extra badge points from that so I'm not really gonna mess with that so I think I'm just gonna point these 
last few points on free throw. But yeah, there you have it. You get 23 finishing badge points, 8 for shooting, 13 for playmaking, and 21 for defense. You unlock some really good badges with these attributes, so I'm pretty happy with the build. And now for the takeover, you'll see we got finishing, we got paint defense, glass cleaning, and post scoring takeovers. And I feel like where Giannis is just unstoppable in the NBA is just getting to the rim. Like, it is so hard to guard that man once he gets into the paint. So for that, I'm gonna go with a double takeover. I'm gonna go with easy blow buys and then I'm gonna go with finishing moves. Obviously you can change this to your personal preference, but you'll see we get shades of Julius Randle, Sean Kemp, and Evan Mobley. We have built a lob threat. I don't really agree with the name of the build, but it is what it is. But yeah, guys, this is my Giannis on an Akumpo build on NBA 2K23. I like how it turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like and sub down below. I'd really appreciate it. But anyways, guys, until next time, I'm out.